Okay. Stop cards. Yeah. p.m. Still didn't get home yet. Uh, we come out of the garage. It was oh five, five thirty, something like that. So anyway, make a long story short. Um, after I left the garage, uh, the mechanic, my mechanic, suggested that uh, I go see this certain individual that does um, uh, body work. Uh, you know it's like a body man it's like um, our friend Sean there on the internet their uh, pisser channel there uh, so anyway I did so um, I wanted to meet him and talk to him a little bit and uh, so I did and uh, I want him to uh, look at this thing and see what the rocker is and blah 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 stories I gotta get this fixed before uh, before winter starts because then uh, I'll be fresh out of luck for sure so anyway um, the car yeah this thing is amazing really really amazing I mean it picked up its power uh, if I give you a scale from 1 to 10 uh, it picked up its power uh, about an 8 Oh yeah, freaking eight right there, right off the bat. So the gas line was uh, replaced, and the gas filter was replaced, and I got the uh, the oil replaced. So now the only thing that's uh, and by the way, I was looking underneath the car while he was working. I grabbed his uh, his trouble light and I start shining the light there at the brake lines and blah 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 and uh, we thought that uh, this thing was leaking brake fluid through the master cylinder but uh, it turns out it's leaking in the back uh, both sides there's uh, some kind of a fitting it's about yay long and the fitting is wet it's actually wet on both sides so tells you what Hey, it's leaking. So, yeah. And also there's a line, a transmission line. A transmission. One of the straight lines with a tranny anyway. Right where it goes into the leak in there too. Yeah. <laughs> I got a self-oiling car. Yeah. So, we're going to call in the morning and... Uh, or next time I'm in uh, Camelton, I'll stop at the over at the dealer and uh, see about the brake parts, blah, blah, blah. See about the tranny line, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I put uh, I put 10 bucks of gas there a while ago. And we did, uh, I don't know, 25 miles. So, gas hardly went down. What a difference. It's amazing. So, yeah, I guess sometimes it helps to tune it up, eh? Hell yeah! Okay, I'm at the gas station. And... What are you saying? 23 bucks. Half a tank. I'll show you. Yeah. Right, so bright in here. See, I'm at the gas station. Yeah. 
and I'm painting today well in this old shop series episode number I believe six homemade tool chest I painted the red it's dry to the touch so it's not too bad not too bad and um, I got the uh, red to paint there around the frame hey you guys huh. what a day well but it's more First Nations mm. for twitching my Macon twitching my Macon I was waiting for a uh, buddy to stop there at the door. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? Hang on there for a sec. The two tires I was supposed to pick up, that was a bit of a fuck up because um, they were supposed to be, um, they were supposed to be, uh, what was it, 225, 60R 16s. And they turned out to be 255s right off the bat. 255, you'll find that into um, a pickup. Um, coming back, phone rings, and it's uh, my buddy Chris calls and says, Listen, dude, uh, I've got uh, four for you uh, in case you're interested. So I think uh, we're going to go with that instead of just changing two. And uh, every two years, uh, I'll have to change two, change two, change two. What's up to that? So I'll never have any, like, at that year, where the tire's at its best, I'll have four of them. I don't want to start that game. Just change two and then dump that. Another two, and dump that. I struck a deal. Um, four new tires. Well, they're not new, actually. They're used. They're two years old. And uh, what it is, is people buy new cars and they put tires on it and then they trade the car in and then they're stuck with their tires, so. Come on in, don't be shy. You're not, you're not camera shy. Modern electronic there, people. 